Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon here. We have your weekly update video for Girls X Battle 2. Before we get into your update this week, a little reminder. Anniversary is next month, not this month. So the capsule event that's happening next week and not this week is not anniversary. Just so you know. Just a reminder. Also, uh, the stream this week will be on Saturday, one hour before server reset. It would be 6 o'clock my time because 7 o'clock my time p.m. is server reset. So come join us there. We'll be giving away to mission prep uh, because we have a mission prep this week for a new girl every time the week before during Lovely's event the week. So just a reminder on that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It's free to help build the channel so we can spread it around so people can find this and hopefully it can help them as well. All righty. Let's get into this week. So we have a new rogue skin. It is the wedding skin because she won the last time. It's not bad. I like it. I still think I like Mio's wedding skin the best, though, honestly. That's still one of my favorites. But this one's still really good. I like how they did here. All right. All right. So event time is going to be from the 4th to the 10th. So 3rd to 9th for me if you're day behind, remember, as always. A daily reward is going to be 4 wheels and 150 gems. And then we have Lovely's Journey. They kept the Shining Pearls with Lovely's Journey. So I guess they listened to us. I know I advocated to keep it because it's nice to get the little extra rewards on the side. Plus what you normally get from Lovely's Journey. So it's a win-win. Because this is the best event for free to play right now, honestly. Besides Magic Cards, Magic Cards is actually really great as well. But it's not happening this week. So... If you're new to the game, you have the golden wheels and the regular wheels, the silver ones. The silver ones will go around the wheel normally. It, you don't get to choose how many moves you make. The golden wheel, when you land on the advanced wheel, you actually get to click on the wheel. It, you get to choose what number you want to move, and you move around the board. Uh, usually, you will use the advanced wheel to land on the advanced wheel to move free spaces around the board every time. Uh, to level up. A piece you just land on it the only pieces that do not level up are the shining pearls which are in the corners they stay the same everything else goes from level one to level three and you're trying to hit land on the corals get them to level three once you get them to level three you don't have to worry about landing on them as long as you pass them you get that many and the uh, shell thingy the couch whatever you want to call it uh, it has three mysterious cards you flip them over you pick one it gives you a good or bad thing just depends on what you get it's rng based your luck how will uh, the Whirlpool, this little thing right here, it's, it cuts your moves in half. It kind of sucks, but it's better than nothing. And then we have your Shining Pearls. Uh, every time you land on a Shining Pearl, it just keeps adding up for how many uh, wheels you spend if you land on them. And these are the rewards. Usually you're going to get Servant Crystals right now because those are most important. And your Elite Skill Upgrades, USB Drives, and Floppy Disks. So... I know Jonah's here. People really want Jonah. But you probably need to focus on elite skill, grabbing these first and your servant's crystals before you get that Jonah copy. Just saying to be realistic. But if you want to grab the Jonah copy, it's up to you. These are the rewards for the coral branches. It's 10 capsules, 50 elite girl shards, 1 resource box, 6 star all box, 5 star normal faction box, skin box, AD box, and 9 star doll box. So most people are trying to get to 200 as free to play because you want that normal faction box. That way you can get Rogue. I don't know if Mika's in there this time around. But Mika's in there. If she is, you grab her. She's really good as your one of your first LB5s. Fenrir's too. That's what you're shooting for. Now, obviously, you're tr hoping to get to an AD box, but that's really rare. So you might have spent a couple dollars to get to that. But overall, you're trying to get to that normal faction box at 200. And, of course, you can buy 30 wheels, 150 gems, plus the four that you log in every day, plus what you get from exclusive tasks. You get, what is it, 74 free wheels? So, you, you there's a high chance of getting to 200 if you're new. Trust us. This happens a lot. Also, uh, any wheels that are not used, uh, advanced or normal, they'll be converted to two coral branches each, and therefore, after corresponding rewards may be obtained after the event ends so if you're really close to 200 and you don't want to risk it and you don't know if you're going to get past the coral branches and you have let's say four and that equals eight and all you need is like six to get to there you can just wait for the event to end and voila you get the 200 
All right. New girl, Teresa. Uh, end of the end of chaos. It's a human. She's a mage. So we'll see at server reset when we do the little bite you get to determine if we can figure out what she does and what she is. All right. Of course, mission prep. Uh, if you're gonna get anything this week first, probably buy mission prep. It's worth it. It's Sixty capsules for twenty dollars. Plus, you get a nice little avatar as always. I still believe that Blair is still gonna be my favorite avatar for a while now. So, but this one's still not bad. Here's your exclusive task. Exclusive task used to be garbage and worthless, but because they give wheels now, it's very important. So you should be saving uh, shards, four stars and five star girls just for this. So that's, this is good. I still don't understand why Hottie is four, six, you need six four star humans just to get Hottie. She's the only girl that does this. They do it back. They used to do it for a reason because she was useful in cheese teams, but now... It's kind of ridiculous. It's still six. Rest of them are four. Uh, the demon and angels. Not worth it. Do not get it. Maybe if it was an apate and an F there, I might have the argument that it's worth to do it. But it's a Michael and a Scythe. It is not worth it. Please don't do it. I'm warning you right now. Do not do it. It is not worth your gems and gold for those two. Period. All right. Next we have Bizarre Adventure. This is the new thing. Never had it before in the game. Uh, essentially... You get to pick the blocks, you go through the blocks, and you get to boss fights. There will be normal boss fights, and then you have the stage boss fight. This should be 30 maps, right? Yeah, 30 stages and 30 blocks on each map. You're trying to find the boss fight on the stage. Why you... Oh. There's a yawn, guys. I haven't done that in a while. Uh... Once you defeat the boss, you can go to the next stage, essentially. That makes sense. It does for me. But. And, of course, so, whenever you're fighting the boss, it states that if the, your HP hits zero and the boss fight hits zero at the same time, you will lose. You don't win on the draw. So, you have to have at least, like, 10 health or something before you beat the boss. Does that make sense? And it says that at least 10 damage will be dealt for each attack. So a minimum of 10 damage for you will be done to the boss depending on your team. And then we'll get here in a second on the boss. And also you will enter each battle with 100% in adventures. Defeating a non-boss enemy gives 5 Void shards, I believe it is, and then uh, girl shards, 10 of them. After defeating the boss, portal to the next stage will open, and you can tap to enter the next stage. Defeating a boss gives 80 void shards and 100 shards. All right, and then, of course, we have the old capsule coins. It's like R, S, R, S, S, R, girl level. Um, rarity. And these are different adventure capsule coins. I don't know how I like this that much. I, I just don't know how I feel how this is going to work out. But we'll see. So it's going to be interesting. I don't really know what to say about this. It's, it could be good or it could be bad. It just all depends on how many coins we could get for free to play. And even then, I don't really like the packs to buy. It's just not really enthusiastic for me. But you have a 100% chance to require at least one SSR Adventure Girl and 50 consecutive draws. So we get one SSR after 50 consecutive draws. I don't know what the rates is, how many you get before that, but we'll just have to wait and see. Probably not that much. Also, the, the girl shards that you get, you use them to level up your girls. So getting those from fighting mini bosses or the boss, you use to upgrade. This is nice. And they have their own abilities. All right, then da completing daily tasks. Here's your void shards. You get uh, the coins for it. Weekly tasks. Get coins. Get uh, shards as well. And of course, these are the rewards that we get for this. Uh, resource box. I don't know how much we're going to get. Either resource box, probably not that much. Normal shards. Pet resource box, which is great. Hopefully, everybody gets 800. Even if it's not that high in the resource box, it's still worth it. 
Elite Girl Shards, Capsules, uh, Class Box, Doll Box, Elite Badges are Trash. I don't even know why I need to say that. Uh, six Star Dolls for Angels and Demons. Of course, a Antique Selection Box, which is probably what everyone wants to get right there. And of course, then we have Nine Star and Ten Star Box. Most of the people are going to want to get to that 3,000 Void Shards, but I doubt it. Probably going to be hella, hella whaling territory. And then we have our supply to buy. I don't know why they put high stakes slot tickets there. They're utterly useless. You can, um, for the most part, you can get them easily at other parts of the game. It's not very enticing. It doesn't look for me to buy any of this. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, Maybe that's an SSR girl, whatever they want to call it, up there for the $20 to help you start out. But I think it would have been better if they put in with the normal packs to buy the, the advanced coins. I don't really like how they separate the packs. Except for Magic Card Event, it makes sense because you can they refresh daily and it's a very good event. So that makes sense there. But this, I think they should have just added it to this right here. That's just me, though. All right, and then, of course, we have an Oath Pack. We get two Oath Skins for $30. That's because we have a new Oath Skin with Rogue. It happens every time. Lovely's Elite Supply. This is actually a great thing to buy. So buy a mission prep first, and then this during the week if you can buy it. If not, do the $5, 888 gems as always. Uh, key word of the day is going to be Rogue, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because she has a new wedding skin, so we're going to give her some love. And the keyword will be Rogue for the giveaway this week. Just remember that. Uh, these are straightforward. It's the same as always. Nothing extra with it. It's just wheels and gems. But you're probably better off buying this because I'm pretty sure Lovely event still a better event than this new Bizarre Adventure. So, for reward ways, anyways. Do that. And then special gift pack. No skin pack this week. Interesting. But... Uh, definitely get the five dollar one. Better value there. I guess if you've already got the hundred dollar ones, and you're going into the well territory of getting the seventy, you might as well get this one first, because you get the extra six star doll box. That's the only reason for that. But okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you this week. Now remember, anniversary is next month, and uh, stream is on Saturday. Hope to see you guys there, and try to think of anything else. Nope, that's it. Nope, we'll, we'll test the new girl when she comes out on uh, Capsules the next week on Saturday again. Not this week, but the week after, so we'll see what we get there. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Be safe out there. It's a crazy world. And I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully I'll see you Saturday. Peace out. Be safe.